what's up with a happy Roblox family. choice but to allow me to stay here i'm a genius totally you know it you know i'm a genius guys <laughs> look at that adorable little dog he's so cute i think that's a chihuahua okay this is the bathroom this is not dad's room where's my dad oh wait there he whoa dad looks mad father i am feeling unwell perhaps it would be a, a decision you would need to allow me wait Wait, what? May I suggest I stay at home instead? Hmm, let me see. 97.70. You are okay. If you're ready for school, I'll be here if you need me. Guys, I couldn't remember how to read for a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> Man, I need to find a way to convince him. Why no? If I turn on the lights in my bedroom, my body temperature will go up and father will allow me to stay home. <laughs> turn on every light in your room. Boink, boink, boink. Sometimes they in these games will have you read things really fast. And I'm like, hold on, I can't read that fast. Slow down. That's exactly what just happened to me. Father, I reckon the thermostat displayed the wrong temperature earlier. Yeah, that's it. Could I perhaps suggest trying one more time? Ninety-eight point sixty. It's a bit more than before, but nothing to worry about. I need more heat. Let's turn on every light inside of the house. I'm so smart sometimes, except for when I can't read fast enough. That made me feel a little ignoramus. Turning on all the lights in the house, guys. Does turning on the lights actually make you feel hotter? Uh, not me. Unless the light you're talking about is the sun, and you're on the surface of it. But, you know, it's just a game, so whatever. Guys, I... Okay, I've only found four of the seven lights. I've got to find all of them, though. Bathroom? Oh, I forgot the bathroom. Okay, I have two more to turn on, guys. And hopefully Dad will let me stay home. It's getting so warm in here. Oh! Anti-hair loss? <laughs> Poor Dad. Father, I truly am convinced that I am indisposed today. Gee... 99.86. You're fine. Just and take a bath. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Father. Wonderful indeed. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn up the temperature to a million. Now, what should I do? Should I... I actually feel like I want to have something to drink, so I'm going to make some hot cho choco yum. Mm. I'll take a bath later. First, I want to drink this hot chocolate. Oh, wait. No, it says to have breakfast and take a bath, so I'm doing the right thing. Oh, see, I thought I was being a rebel, but no. Uh, I wasn't. I was actually doing the right thing. Oh, that actually took up my temperature just a little bit, too. Oh, look at my rubber ducky. <laughs> Guys, I really thought that I was just being a rebel by drinking that hot cho chocolate drink, but turns out this game actually wanted me to do that. <laughs> Duh. Go tell your father you're sick. Robert Ducky, we're so sick. I request another measurement of my temperature. And by the way, I've already had a temperature. So I'm not really sure why you just keep saying I don't have one. 116.06. You are fine. And you are finally ready to go to school. So go now or you'll miss the bus. Still not enough? Ugh. 
I will skip school one way or another. Turn on the faucet. Turn on the stove and every faucet with hot water. Oh my God, it's like boiling in here, guys. Look, it's red in here. Um, guys, I feel like I might burn the house down right now. Not really sure, but I'm feeling pretty confident about it. OMG. Hey guys, have you checked out our new channel, So Geeky? It's so awesome. It's full of amazing Roblox music. And if you haven't checked it out yet, you can click the link in the description box below this video. Whoa. We just did um, a video about a hamster attack and we have a new song coming out soon called Weird Strict Dad. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Did I miss one of the, I missed something. What did I miss? Turn on the stove and every faucet. Oh man, I gotta turn on the bidet? Oh, yucko. Go tell your father you are sick. Father? Oh, you're still here? I thought you left. Is everything all right, Father? You appear distraught. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Anyways. It's how he looks at the thermometer. He looks so angry. 126.86. You are fine. Now go. What the heck? What else can I do? Oh, I know. The fireplace. I have a fever. Why would he believe me? I'm actually going to pass out. I'm so hot right now. How do I turn this on? Ooh, read the art book. Cool fan art made by players. I don't have time for that. Have to figure out how to skip school. <laughs> Extremely heavy book. Ugh. Today's homework. Ugh. So heavy. So much knowledge. Let's burn it. <laughs> Burning my homework. Yes! Wow, it raised the temperature in here nine degrees. All right, Dad, so what's it going to be? 387.86. What? That's nothing. <laughs> Dad, your hair, well, your lack of hair, is catching on fire. Goodness gracious! Stop mucking around. I can't tell if it's so hot in here he's mad or if he's just mad and his hair is catching on fire. Um, Guys? Everything's on fire. Fill the pool with lava. Where's my pool? It's probably in the backyard. Wow. One more burning this entire town down. How do I fill it with lava? Okay, here we go. Oh, please, Master of Flames, I beseech you. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Sup? Oh, noble. Uh, Ignitus, I implore thee to grace my humble pool with lava. What? Please fill my pool with lava! Oh, okay, gotcha, bro. <laughs> Look at that! It's a thing of beauty! Wait, why does horns fall off? Oh, it's exploding. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that to happen. Wow, it is, like, so hot right now. It is unbelievable! Okay, um... This is definitely going to mean that I get to skip school because, come on, guys, the entire town's on fire. This is getting a bit ridiculous, don't you think? Just a little bit. Dad, come on! Father, say I am ill, please. 1,872 degrees. My goodness, that's a lot of fever. Is that so, Father? Wait, no, I misread that. You're fine, actually. What? But, 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 but. I don't even know what to say. I'm so bamboozled, I cannot think of anything to increase my temperature. Call us to hire a dragon? That's exactly what I mean. Hmm, need less heat? Fantastic. That's exactly it. Yep, that's the one. Call us to hire a dragon. Three, two, one, four, five, six. Oh my god, guys, it's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too cute. Excuse me, I'm getting a call. Okay, Jailder and Mr. Dragon has some important work to do. 
When the work is done, we'll finish reading the book together, okay? Now ride on my back and we'll go do this work together. Bringing the babies with him? <laughs> oh, that is hilarious! Okay, children, I hope you enjoyed the little ride. Now hold on tight. Um, guys, there's babies on a dragon's back. He's blowing fire at my house. Oh my gosh, this game is so ridiculous. Five thousand four hundred and seventy-two degrees. There's nothing to worry about. All right. I did not want to do this, but you leave me no choice, Father. Pull the sun closer with a rope. Holy guacamole! This is getting kind of insane. Not even kind of, like totally. Not even a dragon can convince my dad I should miss school. Um, how do I pull the sun closer with a rope? All right, let's go investigate. First of all, we have to find the sun. Oh, God, I'm swimming in lava. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Speed run. Weird machine made by my father. Hmm. Finally got this machine to work. Now, don't touch it or you'll break like the, break it like the last time. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to pull the sun closer this time. Except for I don't kind of know how. Maybe I'm just going to push this button. Okay, I did. Sorry, but I totally did. Oopsie. Found the rope! So it's come to this. Sorry about this, son. And I'm sorry to my father. You've you've left me other no other choice. I will miss school! That's right, I won't go to school! Father? What is my temperature? 15,372. Oh dear. You were right all along. You have a mild fever. I guess you can stay home today. All right, Father. <laughs> yes, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Good ending. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, look at my badge awarded. I love that. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and hit that like button. Well, at least I didn't go to school. Yes. <laughs>
Your bedroom stinks, Mom! Ew. And not because you ate a bean burrito last night. <laughs> wait, is that all the rooms? I think I... Okay, wait, and I have to go back and talk to Mom. Mom, I'm back! Hey again, Mom. What? Can you check my temperature again, please? Please? I think the thermometer is actually broken. 100.4. Yep, a bit less, but still a fever. Stay home. Well, I guess I need to try harder. Maybe I should try turning off the lights. Because that seems ridiculous. What does that have to do with it being hot? Okay, um... Maybe turn off the fireplace. How do I even turn off these lights? Ugh. Oh, no. I gotta find the light switch, I think, guys. Oh, wait, there's a light switch. Boop. And is there any over here? Okay, I only got one of seven. This is gonna take a minute. Many, many minutes later. Ew, there's brown water in the toilet. That's so gross. <laughs> Who made this game? Yuck. All right, guys, I only have one more light I didn't turn off. Where could it be, though? Oh, wait, what's that? That's not a light. Oh, yeah, okay, I turned it off. I don't even know how I did it, though. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, I'm back to talk to my mom again. Mom! Mommy! Mama! Mama, 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 Yes, dear? Um, well, uh, the temperature. Can you check it again, please? Please, 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 please! 93.2. You've still got a fever. What? Really? All right. How about if I turn off the heaters? Also, that's not a fever, but I'm just the kid, so what do I know? <sighs> okay, that's not a heater, apparently. Oh, I think those little shiny yellow things on the floor are supposed to be heaters. Yeah, okay. Got it. That looks really weird. Like, why wouldn't they be red? I don't know, but they aren't. So, I figured it out anyway. Here's the heaters, guys. I'm going to turn those off. And I have one more I need to find. Uh, maybe it's in the bathroom. Nope! Where is that last one? Do you guys see it anywhere? Mom's following me around. Ah, Mom, why are you chasing me? Hmm. Guys, I don't see it anywhere. It's not in the bathroom. I feel like this cannot be that hard, but I'm making it harder than it needs to be. Oh, they put it out here in the garage. The garage is heated. All right, now I gotta go back and talk to mom again. Holy macaroni and cheese. Mom, I still believe that there might be a possibility of the thermometer being broken. For reals. And... So, could you check the temperature, please? 82.4, still a fever. Go back to sleep. Wow, still not letting me. All right, then. How about turning on the fans? Hey, Mom, I turned on all the fans. I'm feeling so much better now. Um, oh, what are you doing here? I thought you went to sleep. Nope, but Mom, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. 53.6. Seriously, though. Wally, stop bothering me. This is not good. What can make me extra cold? I mean, I don't even have a fever at this point. Oh, I know! The fireplace! Ugh, as soon as I turned that off. What are you staring at? Go away. Whoa, harsh, Mom. Okay, fine. My mom's getting so annoyed with me right now. Take out the fire in the fireplace. Okay. Guys, I think I need to get some water from the sink or something. Okay, I put it out. The fire is out. Let's go talk to mom and drive her crazy again. Hey, mom, I'm back. Okay, mom, I'm certain now that I don't have a fever. Seriously. Let me check then. Okay, yes, ma'am. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When I was your age, my normal temperature was minus 2,000 degrees. Now go eat your breakfast. What? Oh my god, this mom is gone crazy, I think. All right, fine, let me go get something out and eat some breakfast. How can I eat my breakfast? Oh, this is my breakfast. <laughs> eat the ice cream. Mm. That seems like a good breakfast, right guys? 
Uh, it won't let me get in the refrigerator for something healthy. So where would the rest of my breakfast be? No. No. I just want to eat more ice cream! Guys, I really don't know where my... Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I hope my breakfast isn't down there. It won't let me even do that, so... I don't think it's saying eat something out of the toilet. Ew! Mom, where's my other breakfast? There's only one breakfast, so I'm really confused by this right now. To eat the dog food or something? Um, no. Guys, where would my other breakfast be? Maybe it's like around back. Mom grilled me a cheeseburger for breakfast. Um, guys, there's definitely dynamite back here, and, um, that is not good. What is this? An old pool? Um, alright, I'm going out on the street. I don't know where I'm supposed to get extra breakfast. Bills to donate. Giant fans to stay chilly. Um... None of this looks like my breakfast. Maybe it's in the oven? Maybe it's in this. Oh, wait, is that a cup? Oh, I think I need to drink some water. Got it. Oh, that was a little challenging. But I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Temperature. Check it. Right now. Minus 364 degrees Fahrenheit. Go sleep. Oh, my God. I still need more coal. Oh, wait, here we go. You have to be just right in the right spot. Is anything happening? Oh, yes! It worked. I'm getting in the pool. <laughs> now I should be super cool, right? Um, I hope. And I can walk fast again. All right, let's go talk to mom. Say, come on, take our temperature one last time. Who am I kidding? This isn't going to be the last time. Mother, please check my temperature. Please check the temperature. No. Wait, what? Mother, please! <laughs> Minus 544 degrees. This is still a fever. Stop wasting my time. Go to bed. But, but... You know what? I think there's a shop outside that has exactly what I need. I should go check. I don't even know where I'm going. How do I get out of here? All that jazz. Um, guys, where would I do that? Outside, maybe? What's this over here where you can buy money? Oh, that's a donate. I don't know how to pray to the Almighty. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, there's where I pray. God, the Almighty, I have come to thine for thine help. Is is God sleeping? God, wake up! Uh, who dares interrupt my sleep? Oh gosh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That that was me. What? Do you want? Uh, yeah, just some snow to make it cold. What? That would be really nice. Please? Yay! God answered my prayers. All right, it's snowing. It's freezing. Mom, there's still a probability that I, that I don't have a fever anymore. Yeah, yeah, okay. Minus 3,604. Wow. You don't have a fever. Just kidding. Wait, what? You're kidding? I, I need more coal! Put a blanket over the sun. Oh my goodness. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Alright, where am I going to get this giant blanket from? Hmm. Guys, I'm looking for a giant blanket to put over the sun. Throw blanket. Ariana Grande needs me! This has to be done! Okay, gotta go faster. Need more coal! Need more coal! 
need more coal! Okay, I'm still going faster. More! More! Okay, my arm's gonna fall off. But she needs me! Um, guys? I think I just put a blanket over the sun. Whoa! I still have to go back and talk to my mom. Pretty soon, I'm just gonna go to school and be like, "Sorry, I don't have a, I don't have a temperature." You have a minus, a minus. You, you don't actually have a fever. Well then, uh, go to school, I suppose. Yay! <laughs> I get to go to school. Wait for me, Ariana Grande! I'm coming! Oh, there's a school bus. Hooray! Why does it look like the Joker is driving me to school? Holy macaroni and cheese. Uh-oh. Good ending? Maybe? You got to meet Ariana Grande, but you froze planet Earth. Womp womp! <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed Need More Cold. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys! Oh man, not another snowstorm. Mm, this donut tastes pretty good though. Maybe it's not as cold out as I think it is. Oh no, it's freezing. Ah! Totally, Molly. But that's okay. We can always find something fun to do inside. Yeah, like your donuts. Molly, it's a new year. It could be a new year, new you. Blah, blah, blah. I like the old me. Well, um, the old you wears terrible outfits and um, eats way too many donuts. So judgy, this one. Listen, I like Molly just the way she is. If you don't, that's your problem, girlfriend. Well, I'm just saying, I think you'd be really, really helped out by my new TikTok idea. You have TikTok? Well, not yet, but I'm going to sign up. It's called New Year, New You. Oh, like I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, but it's all about, like, having great fashion, um, even cooking healthy meals. Well, pretty soon, in about a week, you can turn your TikTok channel to eating terrible meals for beginners or for advanced people. Because basically, everybody in the new year wants to be healthy and whatever for like a week. And then they just decide, nah, and they eat all the donuts. <laughs> I just skip all that and just keep eating the donuts. Molly, seriously, stop eating that donut. I'm going to make an amazing TikTok. Now stay out of the kitchen and don't interrupt my healthy cooking TikTok. Yeah, okay, whatever. She gone. Okay. Back to eating a delicious donut. As you can see here, I'm making a delicious apple that's baked in the oven. Super delicious and good for you. Hey, I'm Molly, her slob of a sister. I dress bad and I eat way too many donuts. Molly, get out of my TikTok. <laughs> I'm pushing send. <laughs> it's uploaded on your TikTok. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, how could you? Wait a minute. I already got 10 likes on that. Wait, what? They think that we're funny together? Yeah, you're funny looking. Molly, rude. Oh my God, now we have a thousand people liking it. Oh my God, Molly, it went up to 50,000. What? It's been like 30 seconds. Hmm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh, okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly, we're going to be TikTok famous. So TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <laughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? I need to use the potty! Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess it's TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out! Okay, TikTok fans, I'm gonna show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that, or you could say whatever and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts. Two 
till your pants don't fit, till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly, you could have booed another TikTok. Ha ha ha, I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole, macaroni and cheese, hot dogs with ketchup. Yeah, Molly, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our TikTok has 1.5 billion people that are fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with um food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earned this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy Life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. Don't be such an income poop. Molly! I'm just saying, sometimes you just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I will have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh my god. It's Molly and Daisy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok and I'm here with Molly and Daisy and hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on, she's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well she should have asked permission first. I I I, I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but alright, she has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo! 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 Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah, I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, New You on TikTok is doing amazing! It's blowing up! But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? How am I gonna sign your cat? Oh, it's it's a cat that doesn't have any fur, so you could use a sharpie. No, I'm not gonna sign the cat. Hi, yi yi. I just want my ice cream, and and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because Molly, I am. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of, like, magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so... I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face during that girl's TikTok? Oh, you could be like me and don't care. I'm meeting a daughter right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys, and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold, and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it, because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans... From here on out, we need a security camera. And maybe a fence. Whoa. What's that? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hot shoe. Creepy. Ugh. One of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. Ugh. 
Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe to make you feel better. No! I don't want a donut! Now I have to go to the bathroom! Oh, that sounds so gross! Uh oh! Whoa, she really is sick! If going to eat a donut's gonna make her throw up. <laughs> Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out, just like hang out and eat on the couch <laughs> and shove your face full of donuts? Yeah! I totally loved that one! It was hilarious! <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I drooling? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. Uh, 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 who got us sick? They aren't super fans. They're terrible fans. Hello, this is Bruce Springer for Action News. Today I have a breaking story. The new famous TikTokers Molly and Daisy are very sick. If you like reality TV, you're gonna love this one. Watch them puke! Watch them sneeze snot everywhere! Watch them run to the potty! Are you serious? Get out of our house! This one's obviously rude in real life. I don't know if you should like her. Oh, uh, maybe unsubscribe. What? Don't tell people that! Rude! Get out! Molly, there's only one thing left to do. Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No. Stay away from me. Hurry, Molly. Come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, chew! Because I don't feel good, and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Ha, chew! Come here, Marley, I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. Well, I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that th this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a clone! That's right, Molly. And I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all. It'll be our clone. Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone. Hey, I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing. I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's Daisy. Daisy pants because you know your name is Daisy just like the flower and oh my god where's Molly hi you're the nicest fans in the world I love you whoa she said she loved us did you hear that I totally did oh my god that's amazing so um will you sign an autograph sure I'll sign an autograph you're the most amazing fans in the world I love you holy guacamole the Daisy clone is working now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs> so, Brookie, what did Luke say after you told him that? Oh, he didn't really say anything. He kind of just ran out of the room. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, Brookie, I gotta go. My sister's being annoying. What? I am not, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, try not to fight too much. I love you both. You're both my best friends, and I want you guys to get along. You don't have sisters. You don't know what it's like. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, because, Molly, um, I accidentally spilled water on my sheets, and my bed is wet. I don't care. This is my bed. Get off of it. It's my property. Molly, I'm studying for my science test, and it's very important. Besides that, Dad's downstairs running the vacuum. I can't study down there, and I can't sit on a wet mattress.
twist. Ugh. Why do I have to share a room with my sister? That's it. I've had it. Mom! 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 What is it now, Molly? Oh my gosh, I'm washing these dishes. Mom, I want my own room. No, I need my own room. Well, Molly, there's only one bedroom for you and Daisy. One for baby Kira, which you don't want a room with her because she's up half the night crying and needing a diaper and a bottle and... Ah! Why can't I have my own room? I'm the oldest. You got your own room. No, correction. I have to share it with your dad and he snores and talks in his sleep. Sometimes he even farts in his sleep. Ew, gross. Look, Molly, this is the house that your father and I can afford. Yeah, and it's great, isn't it? Even as an elevator. I never thought I'd live this amazingly. Oh, man, this house is great. Well, it doesn't seem that great to me. Why don't we buy one that has a, my own room and Daisy has her own room? Molly, you obviously don't remember what our first house was like. Yeah, Dan, she was too little. <laughs> but I remember that house like it was yesterday. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Molly, be quiet. I can't hear Coco mowing. No, I want to sing it. Baby shark doo 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 doo. You're super annoying, Molly. Oh, you're super annoying. Okay, girls, that's enough fighting. Come on in the kitchen. Your mom and I are making something delicious for dinner. I kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry too. What are we having? Oh, look, girls. It's taco night. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, Molly? What's wrong, Molly? Why the sour face, honey? Oh, I don't want to eat any tacos. What? Why not, honey? You love taco night. It's so much fun. You get to make your own taco, and then it tastes so delicious, it goes into your tummy. I don't want to put anything in my tummy. Oh, do you have a tummy ache? Yeah, I have a really bad tummy ache all of a sudden. I think I think I need to go sit back down and watch Baby Shark. Oh, I think she just wants to watch Baby Shark instead of eat dinner. Um, Dan, you obviously don't know our daughter. <laughs> Her want to watch anything over eating tacos? I don't think so. She loves tacos. I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just acts like she doesn't feel good. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol. Maybe it'll make your tummy feel better. I don't want to take medicine. I don't like medicine! Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it! Molly, come on. Be brave. Take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh no, I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. I took my medicine so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! Uh-oh, he got to throw up. Oh, boy. Looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh, no. If she's got the stomach bug, it means... We're all going to get the stomach bug. Not me. I'm not going to get it. Oh, my God. My tongue green. Oh, man. She must have a fever. She's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. Pepto-Bismol always makes me want to throw up, too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Ugh. Man, I can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, they both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed! What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and uh, 
Um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, honey, I think we're probably gonna get the stomach bug too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mommy, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know, we're so sick we turn green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it! Oh, I gotta change my clothes again! I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I gotta go potty! Me too! Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? Oh no! Oh! My turn! I have to go potty next! I'm not gonna wait either. I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is. I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh, I just, I just throw up in the shower, I guess, you know, because, girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again. I'm not done in here. Oh, man, I think I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh. Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. No, never mind. Too late. That's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole, that sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is, well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured, if you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. No, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting the stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, dad's eating a hot dog while well, I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of me! I can eat a hot dog if I want to! Unless you can catch me! Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs>what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry! Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't! I'm starving! Mom, help! <laughs> can't wait any longer! Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no, no! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why, why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer is no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Oh, yay. Something's wrong with the computer. 
Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables, no way! I love mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Marty is still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, oh, that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no. It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh, all right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh, okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm-hmm. So, 
Oh, delicious, waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxy ate delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in Mom's car. I'm going to ride in Mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not Dad's, though. It's Mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy's after me. A P I G G Y. A piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes, that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pod! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Ah, uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. 
You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom. It's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait. You really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy. Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom. I got all the cash money. I got all the cash money. Mommy, what are you going to do with that much money anyway? Um, duh. I'm going to go to the ice cream store and I'm going to buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa, <laughs> there's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Marty, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah, good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Marley? Yep, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Marley, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh. I know. I'm definitely going to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Where's their bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Ah! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah! Ah, me too. Ah! So much ice cream! Marty, get off of me! Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could... Bleh. Ew, Marty, gross! I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Marty. This is just crazy! Give me that TV remote. I don't think so. I'm watching Brooke High. Molly, give me it. It's my turn with the TV. <laughs> you can catch me. Nee, 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 nee. Oh, yeah, Molly. Watch me. Ah! Are you, are you spraying me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, that's so rude. Give it to me, Molly. I want to watch the news. Seriously? What are you, 100? Why would you want to watch the news? Boring. Molly, turn the channel to the news station. Oh my goodness, my sister's such a brat. I'll show you right now, Lydia. I can't believe I'm on the news. This is super cool. Whoa. Uh, and now you never have to water again? That's right. I just give my plants a little pat, though, because I want them to know I still care about them. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, I don't have feelings so good. 
Oh, I feel very strange. You're probably just nervous from being on TV. That happens to a lot of people. I want to eat your brains. What? What did you just say? I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, the owner of, of Dr. Green Thumb has turned into a zombie. You heard it first, folks, here on News Channel 10. This could be the story of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, the new potion that Dr. Dr. Green Thumb's business created turns everything green into a zombie infection. That's right, Brookhaven residents. Don't touch the color green! Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Marty, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane! What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Marty, it's not April Fool's Day. It's July! April Fool's Day happens in April! Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie? That would be like the end of the universe! Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um, I think it's a lot of... Oh, Marley, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo, that's what it is. Oh, boy, Marley, please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey Molly, what's up? Oh, you playing some soccer? Hey Brookie, nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think you should touch the... Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh, my God. It wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor oh, Brookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like, forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh, my God. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time, and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living, so your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. Uh -huh. Unlock! Uh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh, ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no, no, no! Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, it's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains, brains. Why can't I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ugh, so much like my human self. Molly? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stay back for me, Molly! Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab, try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please! Oh no! Brains! Wanna eat your brains? Let me in! Don't you want a nice delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes! Yes! Brain cupcakes! Stop saying brains! Brains! Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. 
I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no. I've doomed all of Brookhaven. It's happening. It's happening. All of Brookhaven is now zombified. Brains. I want brains. Oh, no, don't roll down the hill. Oh, my gosh. My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill. And if it rolled down that hill, oh, my gosh. I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge. Oh, man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh, gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah, where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is Rainbow Day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me! I don't even own anything that's rainbow! Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're going to definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, we're, Daisy! I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister, Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette, Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're gonna all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa, if she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we gonna do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. <laughs> hey, this is Brookie, what's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. Let's see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Buddy, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school. Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Buddy, there's only three colors. Rainbows have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine? 
Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh, Brookie's going to get expelled. Bam, bam, bam. No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her, even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some, some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now, none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I gotta get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye! Whoa! We all wore our rainbow shirts! We're not gonna get expelled now. Come on, let's get into class! Oh, look who it is! Loser one! Loser two! What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh my god, Sarah! You, you wore your Billie Eilish shirt, but, but, but today's Rainbow Day, and if you, you didn't wear Rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> you losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's going to make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is rainbow day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What, what are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as rainbow day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up Rainbow Day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But... The only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on rainbow day. What? The, I, I... You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but... I have no choice. It's the rules on rainbow day. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Oh. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs> It's another wonderful day as the most popular girl in school. <laughs> Whoa, what are you wearing, Sarah? 
What do you mean? What am I wearing? I got this from the mall last night. Ew, you shop at the mall? That's so 1990s. What do you know about it, Brittany? Well, as the most popular girl in Brookhaven High. Wait a minute, you're not the most popular. Actually, while you were out sick, um, the cheerleading squad, they voted me as cheerleading captain. What? You're pranking me right now. Uh, no. <laughs> you lost your rank as cheerleading captain. That's me now, Brittany. <laughs> and also, you look like a total loser. That's my job to call people losers. Come back here. Oh, Daisy, you look adorable in that. Oh, thanks, Brittany. So you want me to tutor you in math again, little? Yeah, if I'm going to stay on the cheerleading squad, I'm going to need it. So wait a minute. Her outfit looks amazing. I'm wearing the same one. Well, it makes you look like a loser, and it makes Daisy look so cute and sweet. Uh, how's my outfit? Who are you? Do you even go to this school? Uh, yeah, my name's Brookie. Sorry, Brookie, don't know you. All right, everyone, I'll see you in class. <laughs> Bye. I cannot believe that Br Brittany said that about me. Wait, why is my face wet? Am I? Am I crying? I don't cry. This is not who I am. I, I can't believe it. She got to me this bad. She sort of bullied me, and I don't like it. I don't like crying. I have a spell book, and I can take care of this problem. I wish that everyone was in black and white. <laughs> you don't like my colorful outfits? Well. We'll see about that. Whoa! What just happened? I I feel so weird and, and, and everything looks like it lost its color. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Brookhaven! No! Molly! Everything's gone wonky! I know! It's crazy! It's, 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 it's insane! I don't know what's happening right now, but it's scaring me. Is this some sort of zombie apocalypse? Well, to be fair, normally with a zombie apocalypse, you'd have zombies! All I see is that every bit of color has been taken out of Brookhaven. Oh my gosh, who could do this? Who could do this? Ha 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 ha! Now who's the most popular one of Brookhaven? Maybe not the most popular, but the most powerful. Ha 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 ha! Sarah, did, did you just do this? Do what? Turn everything in Brookhaven to black and white? Well, <laughs> maybe people shouldn't say that I'm not popular and that I look bad. I didn't say that. Well, Brittany did. And I'm not up for putting up with any of that. Please, Sarah, turn, turn Brookhaven back to color. I can't. Yes, you can, Sarah. You're just being rude. No, I really can't. The spell didn't reverse. What? We're stuck in black and white Brookhaven? Forever? Ah! Oh my gosh. Everything about the town is so different. The daycare is usually so colorful, black and white. The post office is usually red. Now it's black and white. The pool and, and the water inside of it is usually this beautiful blue color like the ocean. Black and white. Oh my gosh. Life's never going to be the same without color. Maybe if I go into Strawbrooks, the donuts will have delicious pink frosting. Yeah, yeah, that'll be it. Oh my gosh, the delicious donuts? Black and white. They probably don't even taste the same. If you can't see the colors, nothing's the same. I don't know what's in this bottle because everything's black and white. I mean, is it juice? Is it water? Is it soda? I don't know. Take a drink of it. You'll find out. Okay. <laughs> It tastes like mouthwash! Oh, wait a minute. I put this in here this morning because I had gym class. And I don't like to have stinky breath after gym. Why do you have stinky breath after di gym? I don't know. I just always do. I always bring deodorant and mouthwash. Ugh, that was so gross. Daisy, what are we going to do about everything being black and white? I don't know, Bookie. I don't know. Guys, I ran all over Brookhaven. And it's the same everywhere. Black and white! Oh no, 
It spread everywhere throughout town then. Oh my gosh, it's only a matter of time before this, this disease just spreads through the whole world and everything is black and white. Maybe it will even spread to where you are. What are we gonna do, Molly? Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, got it! There's an old witch who lives in this abandoned shack outside of town. She would have a spell to do. Molly, no, she's evil! Well, we don't really know she's evil. Molly, she's evil, everyone knows it. She eats frogs um, for dinner and their eyeballs for dessert. That's just a rumor. Come on, we've got to go see the witch. She can help us turn this back to color. Molly, is this the witch's house? You know that it is, Daisy. Why are you playing so silly right now? Because I don't want to go in there. Maybe it's not really her house. You know it's her house. And yes, we're going in there. We have to. A witch! Are you in here? Oh, she doesn't have any furniture. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, Molly, she's creepy. Oh, if you're gonna be insulting, then you can leave! Um, what's your name again? You can call me Witch if you like. Okay, Witch, um, uh, well, you, have you noticed what's going on? Yes, all of Brookhaven is black and white. Ha ha ha! Looks like someone got a hold of one of my old spell books. Please, please turn it back to the way it was. Can you? Will you? Oh, I can. But the question is, will I? <laughs> please, we can't live with Brookhaven like this. Give us color back. Okay, but it comes at a price. What price? Well, what do you want? Maybe we can pay it. I have $100 in my piggy bank. No, I don't need money. Look at this palace I live in. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, um, so what do you need? Oh, I decide that later. Just tell me you agree. Okay, I agree. Molly, no! Yeah, it's fine, Daisy. Daisy, it's fine. Oh, I don't know, Molly. She seems like maybe she's gonna, well, do something crazy. Yeah, like turn this place back to color. All right. Now, what I need you to do is just close your eyes and imagine Brookhaven with color. Okay, I can do that. Brookhaven in color. Brookhaven in color. Brookhaven in color! Did it work? Did it work? Yes, Molly! We've got our colors back! Hooray! Oh my gosh, I can't thank you enough, Miss Witch. Uh, uh, thank you again. Oh, no need to thank me. <laughs> I'll come for the thing I want later. Um, okay, yeah, whatever you say. Come on, guys, this is amazing. I don't know, Molly. I mean, what if the price is really high? Y you, don't, you don't even know what she wants to take from you. Well, she didn't take anything from me today, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on. Molly, wake up! It's time for school! Come on, Molly! Oh, I would wake up if I could, but my bones hurt. My whole body hurts. What, Molly? Do you have the flu? Mo Molly? Molly! What happened to you? Ah! What? What is it? Oh, I got up too quickly. And now I have to pee really bad. Ugh. Molly! I know what the witch took from you! Really? What? Your youth! My youth? Wait, wait, give me a mirror. Give me a mirror! Molly, look at the mirror! Ah! Oh my gosh, she stole my youth from me! Well, she was an old hag. She probably wanted to steal your youth so she could be beautiful. Ha! Ha! Ah! Ow, my hips hurt. Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something! Oh my gosh, I think she just died. No, I'm still here. Oh, I feel like the Crypt Keeper! Hi there, fellow Brookhaven residents. It's Susie Q coming live to you from WBRE on the streets of Brookhaven. I'm in front of Town Hall right now, guys, and you would not believe what the mayor just decreed. Guys, I have it first hand right from the mayor. Tomorrow is pajama day. That's right. 
All of Brookhaven once a year will have to wear pajamas. He's tired of it not being comfortable. Uh, at least one day a week. You know, the guy has to wear suits every single day, 365 days a year. So one day a year, he just wants to wear his comfy pajamas. So much so that you'll be arrested if you don't wear your pajamas tomorrow. So don't get caught out on the streets of Brookhaven without your comfy, cozy, lazy jammies. Holy guacamole, did you guys hear that? Tomorrow is pajama day? Oh my gosh, well... I guess the people that always wear their pajamas to Walmart will be happy. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have a really busy day tomorrow at the police station. I bet there's going to be a lot of people I have to arrest. Is that even legal? I mean, how can they arrest you for wearing not wearing pajamas? I don't know, but I better go wash some laundry because I don't have any clean pajamas for tomorrow. Ugh, laundry smondry. I'll just wear the ones I wear to bed tonight. Sounds like a good idea to me. Ew, Molly. What? They'll be clean. Ish. Ah, what a beautiful day. And look, I don't even have to do anything in my morning routine because I'm already wearing what I'm going to be wearing for the entire day. Pajama day. <laughs> don't you wish you had pajama day in your town? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm supposed to wear today. I mean, do I wear my police uniform because I'm supposed to show that I'm a cop? Or do I wear pajamas because because we're supposed to all wear pajamas? I mean, I don't want to have to arrest myself. Well, I guess I will have to wear my police uniform. I mean, I don't know. Hey, where's your pajamas? You're going to get arrested. Oh my gosh. Those, well, the, those might be his pajamas. I don't know. Seems like the town is just going crazy. People are jumping on top of cars and 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 that guy was wearing demon horns. I don't know. It's more like Halloween than pajama day. I don't know if this is a good idea. I bet dad's going to be working overtime arresting people today. Go figure. When you are supposed to wear your pajamas, you don't want to. And when you're not supposed to, like when you go to the store or anywhere else, um, like when you're supposed to wear real pants, you're wearing your pajamas. Whoa, house fire reported at residence number 15. Oh no, I hope they're okay. Maybe their pajamas caught fire. I think that's what happens when you fart in your pajamas. <laughs> oh no, not another person that's not wearing their pajamas. Don't you know today's pajama day? Yeah, so you can't tell me what to wear. Um, the mayor decreed it. We all had to wear our pajamas. Besides, it's not so bad. They're pretty comfy cozy. I don't feel comfortable wearing my pajamas outside. I'm not doing it. Hold it right there. Dad? Hey, Molly, just not doing my job. Um, you're arrested. What? You're not a police officer. You wear your uniform. You're wearing your pajamas. I don't believe you. Oh, boy, this could be bad. Uh, actually, I am a police officer. I'm just following the rules like everyone else, setting a good example for the residents of Brookhaven. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing my badge. You're still wearing pajamas. How unprofessional. All right, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Whoa, never got to see Dad arrest anybody before. This is amazing. Put down the Starbrooks. You're under arrest. Get in the back of the seat. And don't say anything without your lawyer present. That's my advice to you. Um, okay, Dad. Well, bye. See you, Molly. Have a good day. Make sure you stay in your pajamas. Okay. Whoa. Dad is really taking this pajama day thing seriously. Oh, my stomach's starting to crumble. I'm going to head over to the grocery store and see if I can find something delicious. Let's see. Where's my favorite candy bar? No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. They have Reese's, but they don't have any... OMG, no Kit Kats? Are you serious? Okay, that's fine. I'll just go to the mall. They probably have some there. I can't believe this mall doesn't have a Kit Kat anywhere in it. Who ate all the Kit Kats? Oh my gosh, I can't find a pair of pajamas. What am I going to do? I mean, does this look like pajamas? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get arrested. Hey, wait a minute. You have pajamas on. Uh, yeah, I got these from home. Where are your pajamas? Um, I don't usually sleep in pajamas. Ew! What do you mean? I mean, I don't sleep in pajamas. 
Ew, gross! I sort of get what you're saying. Yeah, so, um, can I have your pajamas? A, no. B, they won't fit you. You're too big. Well, I could try to squeeze into them, and guess what? I have a Kit Kat bar. Say what? Say that again? I have a Kit Kat bar. Okay, we can switch clothes. But hopefully I don't get arrested or anything. It'll be worth it, though, for the Kit Kat bar. Hand it over. Hey, g g give me your outfit. No, uh, it's too big. It won't fit you. Ah! Okay, well, I can't stand here in my underwear. <laughs> I gotta put on some clothes and stat. Hey, wait. You didn't even give me the Kit Kat bar! Oh my gosh. He just lied to me! Oh man, I look ridiculous. I look so ridiculous. All right, hopefully Dad doesn't see me. Or any other cop. Uh-oh. Oh God, there's Dad! Okay, I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Oh, they're right there. I see you're not wearing your pajamas. Um, I was just getting them. Uh. Too late. You're arrested. Turn around. Let me see your face. Molly? Where's your pajamas? Um, Dad, it's a long story, but please don't arrest me. You are going to have to be arrested, Molly. Tell me what's going on. Now, well, this guy... Okay, first of all, I said I wanted a Kit Kat. This guy said he had a Kit Kat if I would trade him outfits, and he wanted my pajamas. He was going to give me his regular clothes. Where's his pajamas? He wasn't wearing any. Why not? Because he didn't own any pajamas. Well, where did he sleep in? Um... I don't know. Ew, gross. Everybody needs pajamas. I know. Tell me about it. Anyway, the Kit Kat was worth it, Dad. I wanted a Kit Kat. Then I was just going to go home and get a different pair of pajamas, all the while eating that delicious chocolate. And so what happened? He took the clothes and the Kit Kat and my pajamas and ran out of here. Oh my gosh, Molly. That's terrible. But you're still arrested. What? Can't I just go home and get some new pajamas? You're my dad. How can you arrest me? It's the law, Molly. Today's pajama day. Now get in the back of the police car. You're under arrest. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. My own dad arrested me on on pajama day. Pajama day is ridiculous. I hate pajama day. Well, you can hate it all you want, but the mayor loves it. I don't like it. Do you like it, Dad? I'm not allowed to say. I'm in police officer mode right now, but I'll tell you later when we get home. You think it's ridiculous. Okay. Into the jail cell with you, Molly. Seriously, Dad? You're really arresting me? Molly, you're not even wearing shoes. I know. It's not my fault. Um, do I get a phone call? Who are you going to call? I'm your dad. I'm going to call Mom and tell her you arrested me. Uh, I think that's a bad idea. You have to give me one call! Let me out of here! I'll give you your call later. <laughs> when pajama day is over. Dad! D dad! Oh, my gosh, I can't believe Pajama Day ended up with me in a jail cell. I don't like Pajama Day! Hello, Summer School. It's so nice to have you guys here. Well, not really for you because Summer School is kind of boring and stinks, but, you know, it is what it is. You're here, so let's make the best of it. Everybody in your seats and quiet, please. You should be studying whatever subject you failed in school that put you in summer school. <laughs> Is this lady for real right now? She's not our teacher. She's she's a janitor. Uh, yeah, they couldn't get our regular school teacher because, like, she takes vacations in the summer to the beach. So this is the only person they could hire in Brookhaven. <laughs> Seriously? The janitor is going to teach us our math classes? Uh, no, correction. The janitor is going to teach you your math classes. Wait, why are you here? You're, like, the smartest person in the whole school. I just like school so much, I decided to come back. Aww. You are so crazy sometimes. Come on, Daisy, let's like play a game or something. I'm really bored. I have a lot of studying to do, Molly, if I'm going to graduate a year early. Daisy, come on. It's summer. Let's do something. Ah, oh, fine, Molly. But we can't leave the building, so what are we going to do? Let's play. Don't touch that color. Oh, really, Molly? That's... Uh, fine, we can play it. That's what? That's an amazing game. That's so much fun. That's the most genius idea you've ever had. What were you going to say? I was going to say that game is for babies. I'm a baby. I'll play. Baby, Kira, what are you doing at summer school? How did you fail?
fail preschool. No one fails preschool. I follow you, you summer cool mommy. I want to be just like you. No, baby Kira, you do not want to be just like Molly. I do see your bad big sister to ever. I get your woman you know. See, I'm the best big sister ever. You should remember that, Daisy. Can I play, please, please, please? You both can play. Okay, so we're going to use the wheel of colors to decide which color we can't um, step on. Okay, well, what do we have to get to? We have to get to um that tree way over there without touching the color purple i'll go first this is gonna be super easy i don't see any color purple here at all um yep totally one well that was super easy molly my turn uh maybe kira went next <laughs> Well, I'm gonna outsmart you both. You can't, there's no color purple. It's super easy, Daisy. I know, but I could do this, if make, if I make it harder. Why would you want to make it harder? She crazy like that, my. I added your one right there. Don't be crazy, Daisy, just come touch the tree. Fine, Molly, but I'm gonna go the long way. Oh my gosh, she's gonna attempt to go over here where there's purple. I just know it, she's such a show off. Wait, where'd you go? She went outside the slide, I know it. Inside the slide, but there's purple there. Wait a minute, is she going outside? That's cheating! Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater! We couldn't leave the building, you said. Daisy loses. I did believe she loses. Yeah, she loses, that's right, that's right. I didn't lose, I, I, I'm still on the building premises. Uh, she's gonna touch purple. What are you doing? You're just running around the outside of the building. You're cray cray. Next time, we're doing a time limit. Okay, yeah, she's just gonna go right in the door that she came out. I needed some exercise. Besides, your game is so easy. Okay, well, it wasn't my fault the wheel touched such an easy color. Because <laughs> they picked it. Okay, well, let's try again, but this time, I'll spin the wheel. All right, fine, you spin the wheel. Uh, uh, uh. No farting. Did she say no farting? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no promises on that one. My turn to spin. Let's see what we've got. Green! Ah! We're already touching green! Oh no, I got green too. Does that mean we all die? Uh, yeah. Way to go, Daisy. You killed us without even having a turn. <sighs> okay, maybe Kira's turn. I can pick a good combo. I, I know it. I like pink. I want to be pink. Whoa, she wanted it to be pink, and it is crazy. Oh, baby Kira, it's it's almost noon. It's it's time for your nap. I'm so sorry, but you can't play anymore. I want to play. It's not fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, Daisy and I will still be playing after your hour-long nap, but you should go up and get into your crib and take a nap. Fine. <laughs> Whoa, well, Molly, hush. Well, she does need a nap, because you know what she turns into? Psycho, crazy, evil baby without a nap. Yeah, that's very true. Ah, Molly, come quick. This is what you got. Did you want Baby Kira, what? What is it? Baby Kira? Baby Kira! I lost that because you made me get my bed in its beak. Oh, way to go. You made the baby lose, Molly. Well, but, but, uh, I didn't know that the summer school had a pink bed for naps. I don't like it. I just don't have to give it back. Well, you already lost, baby Kara, so take your nap. I'll see you in an hour. Wow, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy for me to win. Yeah, if you keep cheating or throwing us under the bus. Well, <laughs> if I win... I get to eat all the cupcakes that mom makes. What? No way! I love mom's cupcakes. She's supposed to be making chocolate and peanut butter ones today. Uh huh. And I want them all. Basically, me eating all the cupcakes is a necessity. I need them to survive. I need them! Yeah, sure, Marty, sure. Okay, I need to spin this and I have to get a color that can make Daisy out. That's yellow. No, it's not. It's orange. 
It's yellow, Molly. Like a flower? I should know. My name is Daisy. The color of that flower is yellow. Daisy, that is orange. Molly, I think you might be colorblind. <gasps> what? No, I'm not. You're just pranking me right now. That color is definitely orange. Molly, I'm not pranking you. It's yellow. Oh, my gosh. I never knew this. I, I'm colorblind. But maybe only for the color yellow and orange because you seem to know all the other colors, so you're not totally messed up. O-M-G! Molly, should we just go ahead and pick another color? No! I want the color orange. That's, that's final. Or maybe, for me, the color orange is yellow, so you're out. Okay, I will say that, that we can use the color yellow, but I'm not out. All right, fine, we'll use the color yellow, but you're not out. How about yellow and orange? This game is getting way too complicated. Can't touch yellow or orange. And you have to go up this slide and down the other side without touching yellow or orange. It was supposed to be orange, Molly. Well, I'm colorblind and it's my turn, so I'm choosing yellow and orange. I'll go first. This is gonna be an easy piece of cake. Oh! Molly, you fell on the yellow! <laughs> I win! Oh, man! All right, well, you try. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Molly totally messed that one up. <laughs> Holy smokes! There's yellow everywhere! Okay, I can be very careful about this and and not touch the yellow. Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing! <sighs> okay, I crawl over here and then I crawl up here. Oh man, it's super slippery! <laughs> I put vegetable oil on the back. That's cheating! No, it's not. It's just called competition. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all those cupcakes. I'm gonna eat them all! Okay, well, maybe I can just, like, sneak over like this, and then... Okay, I'm stuck! Ow, ow! Daisy, you're gonna, you're gonna fail. Just, just give it up. Molly! I'm not gonna fail. I'm just gonna jump over the side, I think. Wait, wait, wait! Yay! Daisy, uh, watch out! There's orange and yellow right next to you! Don't worry, Molly. I'm not as clumsy as you are. Watch this! <laughs> Well, come on. You haven't made it down to the end yet. I could do this. I could do it. You touched the orange! No, I didn't, Molly. Holy guacamole. Are you serious right now? Okay, I just want all the cupcakes. Just give them to me. No, Molly. You don't get all the cupcakes. You don't get them all! Okay, one more round. It's my turn. No, I just give up. I don't want to play anymore. Are you serious right now? You are such a sore loser. Okay, call me a sore loser if you want. But I'm going to tell you right now. Summer school's over and the first person home gets all the cupcakes. Molly, that's so not fair. Nobody said anything about life being fair. 